Hi guys, I'm here to film my weekly wax melts. Um, this is from the 1st of November through the 8th of November, so Tuesday through Tuesday. Um, I'm just going to get right into it to save time and try to make these videos a little bit quicker. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to start off with Super Tarts because that is, like I said, the vendor that I have the most wax from. Uh, <clears throat> I melted this little, it's in a little polypropylene bag, but um, I got this from a D-Stash. It was a cube of Fred and George, and Fred and George is a uh, funnel cake, uh, bubble gum, and I think there's some type of orange note in, in it as well. Um, yeah, it's not for me. Um, you definitely smell that bubble gum in there. I'm starting to realize that I don't like bubble gum scents, so yeah, that was Fred and George. Um, if you like bubble gum or like orange you know, type of scents, you'd probably like this, but that's from the Harry Potter, like, collection that she has, and then, let's see, I melted Planet of the Apes in my bathroom, it's Biolash, Pomegranate, and Blue Raspberry, I have three cubes of this left, <clears throat> this one is just, um, a really good Biolash scent, I mean, you definitely just get the Bio- the bot, sorry, you definitely get the biolage the most. Um, I don't really smell it's fruity, you know, but I feel like biolage is just fruity in general. Uh, yeah, so Planet of the Apes it does really well in the bathroom. However, I only have a 15 watt warmer in there, and I think I could this kid has the potential to be a lot stronger, but because it's only 15 watts, it's not as strong as it could be, and it doesn't last as long. It's weird, I don't know. So, I'm not sure. If I'll be melting this anymore in the bathroom, I mean, I probably will in the future, but just, you know, I just, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of melting in the bathroom. I don't know, because I'm not in there, like, 24-7, so it's like, what's the point? I don't know. Okay, so that was a really long spiel about that one. If you like Biolash scents, I think you would like that one, and you should get it. Alright, up next we have uh, Zombie Brains. This is Key Lime Pomegranate. And fluffy cotton candy. It's from the Melting Dead collection. Um, you know, used one cube. I'm going to show you guys the clamshell of this because it's awesome. Whew. And it's really strong. It's really cool. It's not picking up all the glitter, but there's glitter on here. Like red little speckles of glitter and it's super cute. But um, yeah, this one is just a really nice lime scent. And it's not fizzy, which is awesome. But it's very strong on the lime, and this one is super strong while it's melting. One cube is enough. Um, my boyfriend actually walked in after this had been on for like five hours, and he was like, this hurts my nose. Which is really dramatic, but he, he's like that. Um, let's see. This one that I was super happy with, it's Glee. It's Rat Candy, Purple Cow, and Cotton Candy Frosting. And Purple Cow is like um, a grape milkshake or something. <laughs> Okay, so this one reminds me of when you open a bag of, like, gummy worms or gummy bears and you, like, smell the bag. Like, just just get a big whiff of that smell. That's what this smells like to me, and it's awesome. Uh, I really, really like this one. It's not the strongest, so I'll probably use two cubes the next time I warm it. But it's really nice, um, and I really liked it. It's really fruity, so I definitely recommend that if you like fruity. Alright, up next is Rose, and Rose is Sweet Loops, Elderberry, and Blue Cotton Candy. This one is awesome as well. <laughs> I feel like um, Rose and Glee are kind of similar in the aspects that they're both like a fruity candy scent. Um... You think that Sweet Loops would make Rose kind of like um, cereal or bakery, like bready, but it's not at all. It's definitely just like, it kind of reminds me of like sweet tarts or some type of candy. I bet this, these would be awesome to melt together. Oh my gosh, I'm smelling them together and I think that I should melt these together next time. All right. That's probably going to happen sometime, eventually. But Rose is super, super strong. Um, I used one cube, and it scented up my entire room for hours. This one's a really strong one. And if you like strong scents and fruity scents and just, like, sweet scents, this is a great one. 
I don't hear much, pe like, many people talk about this, but it's really awesome. It just reminds me of some type of candy from my childhood. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, like, getting out of breath. I'm, like, talking way too fast. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> this next one I'm actually melting right now. It is the Jackal. It's blackberry, preserved, zucchini bread, and toasted mallow. I'm really happy with the results of this one. <sighs> Smells really good in the clam. Um, I just used one cube in my 24 watt warmer today. Um, I think I put it in around 3. And it's probably like 5.30 right now. And the scent has diminished like a, quite a bit. But it's still fairly... It's like a light scent scent through now and I mean I'm happy with it I'll probably change on my warmer again tonight so I don't know what I'm gonna put in later but we'll see <laughs> but this one is a really nice um blueberry bakery scent or I'm sorry not blueberry blackberry bakery scent if you like um berry scented things you'd like this one a lot I'm happy with that one all right and the last thing from super tarts is this potion pack and candy corn these are her potion packs. They retail for $4.90. Um, and they're just um, single scents of different shapes. Um, I used, um, it was like a heart shape and then one of these lightning bolts. And it had a light to medium scent through and it did not last very long at all. Um, this has been curing since September 3rd. So, I don't know, I feel like it would be stronger or at least last a little bit longer. But, um... <laughs> It is so good. It is, like, a wonderful candy corn scent. And it just makes me happy. Like, melting this just made me really happy. So, I don't know. When I melt it again, maybe I'll use a little bit more. Or, I don't I don't know, maybe I need to use less. Um, I'm getting a scale soon to weigh out my wax. Because I just want to make sure I'm not using too much. Because with this next vendor I'm going to talk about, I feel like I'm using too much wax. <clears throat> so... Next vendor is Rose Girls, and this is in the scent Blue Hurricane. Um, there was three chunks in here. Um, the third chunk was a little bit smaller than this chunk right here, this one on top. And I put the whole thing in. I wasn't going to at first, but then, I don't know, I looked at it in the warmer, and I was like, maybe I should put more in, and I just don't know. I don't know how much wax to use with this vendor for some reason, because I feel like the last times I've melted it, it hasn't been as strong of a throw as it should be because I hear such good things about it. And I see people put wax in their warmers and sometimes they're using a whole chunk. Sometimes people use like, I don't know what would look like one cube of like super tarts. It's just like hard. So I don't know. I feel like I need a scale to really get like that one ounce measurement correct. And then I'll get like a really good throw. But this one was nice. It's just um, Blue Hurricane. It's like a... um. It smells like blue raspberry and cherry slushies. It's not fizzy or anything. It's just a really sweet syrupy smell. And it does smell good. Um, if I remember correctly, it was about a light to medium scent throw. And it lasted for like two to three hours. So that was from Rose Girls. Um, I'm going to do this new to me vendor next. Um, I recently bought a D-Stash. And... The d Stash was from the brand Stiff My Tarts. I've never purchased from them before. I just got a bunch, a bunch of wax in a d Stash. I'll actually show you real fast. <clears throat> so this, well, actually I'm not going to show you because my Rose Girls is in there too. And you guys are going to get confused and think that whole thing is filled with Stiff My Tarts. But it's not. Um, I got, I think it was like 10 or 12 little chunks um, from a D stash, and this one is vanilla, sugar, waffle cone, sweet lavender, marshmallow cake, butter brickle. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I don't like lavender scents, but I love butter brickle. <clears throat> and this one is definitely butter brickle dominant. And it smells really awesome while it's melting. It still smells good in the bag. Um, and this was a super strong scent. Um, definitely high throw, and it lasted for. I don't know, I only kept it on for probably like six or seven hours, but it definitely could have gone longer with like a medium to light throw. Um, this was freaking amazeballs. It was really, really nice, guys. Um, if you like lavender, if you like butter brickle, this was awesome. So yeah, um, it was came in like a big chunk, so I just cut the chunk in half. <clears throat> so that was Stiff My Tarts. I'm really happy with the, the, with the performance I got from it. So I'm excited to melt the other things I got from her. 
Uh, let's see. We'll do Sassy Girl Roma next. Um, I used more of my chunk bag in Blue Raspberry Cotton Candy Frosting Sweet Lavender. Um, I think I have three chunks left. Yeah. I have three chunks, chunks left. And I'm really excited to get this out of my collection just because I don't care for lavender scents that aren't super sick sickeningly sweet. I don't really like lavender at all, but this one is just, um, not a good com com like combo for me. So I just want that one at night while I'm sleeping and I can't really, like, smell it, like, you know, like if I'm awake. I don't know. Uh, this next one I melted. It's Serendipity Strawberry Bread Coconut Cream Pie. <clears throat> so... This one was nice. Um, I tried it in my 24 watt warmer, and then after not getting a decent throw, I put it in my tea light warmer and got a super high throw for a good amount of time. I'd say four to five hours. It, like however long a tea light lasts, it was it was strong and it was going. Um, I think I'm putting too much wax in my in my um, in my 24 watt warmer. Wow, I cannot talk today. I'm so sorry, guys. I think I'm putting way too much wax in my 24 watt warmer, and I think that's why I'm not getting a decent throw from some of these vendors, because I know that they have the potential to throw if they're throwing it in a tea light warmer. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just putting too much wax in them, so yeah. But that one is, this one is really, really nice. Uh, Serendipity is like a sweet cherry scent, and then the strawberry with the coconut cream pie. It was really good. It was like bready and super strong and it was awesome. <clears throat> okay, last vendor I'm going to talk about is Wilma's. Um, I melted Mellow Puffs again. Uh, I melted this with the blue, blue raspberry cotton candy frosting sweet lavender from uh, <clears throat> Sassy Girl Aroma. Just to make it more like, I don't know, less, like mellowed down, I guess. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the next scent I melted was Wild Fruit Fruit Wild Fruit Fusion, and this one is interesting because it's almost it almost has like a like a fresh or like perfume note, like a like a clean fruit. Does that make sense? It's like a clean fruit. I don't know how to explain that, but it almost smells like it could be made into a perfume. It reminds me of my older sister. I don't know. It's weird. Okay, um, but yeah, I actually gave her two. Two of the little melts, and then I melted two in my tea light warmer, and this was strong. Strong for hours. <laughs> so, that's good. I really have a lot of luck with Wilma's in my tea light warmer. Not so much luck in my 24 watt warmer, I think, if I recall. I don't know. It's weird. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's weird. Okay. <laughs> and then this last scent I want to talk about. Um, okay. I hope you guys don't think I'm crazy, but I have this big thing of wax here from Wilma's. This was like custom, a custom thing you can do. They're blender chunks. So the pink scent up here is cotton candy. And then the, <clears throat> like the reddish colored waxes are in pink swirl cake. Pink swirl cake is like the best scent I've ever smelled in my whole life. I actually bought this huge thing um this is uh i think yeah it's 13 ounces of wax <clears throat> and i bought this <clears throat> without actually without having melted the cotton candy or the pink swirl cake melts that i bought in the scent shots but <clears throat> i'm lucky lucky for me after i melted the scent shots i really liked it so it like worked out <clears throat> pink swirl cake is just a really awesome sweet <sighs> sweet scent. I don't know how to explain it because it's not like bakery to me. Like when I smell it, I don't smell bakery. I smell just like sweet, sweet goodness. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Oh, but I love it so much and I love cotton candy too and I love the way her smells on cold. So like I just got my second blender in the scent because <clears throat> I figured... You know, you can always use cotton candy in your life, you know. If you're like me, and you love sweet stuff, you will never get tired of cotton candy. So, um, I melted two chunks. They're gone at the top. I melted two of the red chunks and pink swirl cake in my tea light warmer. 
and it had a, I'd say a light to medium, I'd say it had a, like a, okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, it was definitely a 7, it was a light to medium throw, <clears throat> and I think that's because pink swirl cake is not meant to be strong, like super strong, you know what I mean? It is heavy in the sense that it's a really sweet, like, like rich fragrance, but it's like, it's like girly and sweet and it's really beautiful i don't know if you like sweet scents you definitely need to try try pink swirl cake it's not like cake it's just it's just really awesome <clears throat> so yeah guys that is the mat the wax that i melted uh through the 8th of november so starting from the 1st through the 8th i hope you guys like this and i'll see you in my next video bye